creek chub, fall fish. These two fish are often misidentified in this video. I'm going to show the differences between the two. The scientific name for the creek chub is Simotilus atromaculatus, and they're commonplace in North America. They're about 12 to 30 centimeters in length, and they're pretty easy to catch and they'll bite throughout the day. So a really good fish to target when you're going fishing with kids. They can be easily identified by the dorsal fin, there's a black dot on it, and also at the base of the tail, there's a black dot there as well. In addition, there's a dark band that runs down the side of its body. And here's a clip of me catching a pretty nice sized creature. Oh, but this is a lunker of a creature. My oh, goodness. It's a lunker. It's a male. The male creek chubs during spawning season have tubercles like horns. See the horns? This is a record creek chub for me. It's huge. Okay. The creek chub is often confused with the fall fish. The scientific name for the fall fish is Somatolis corporalis and it can be found throughout North America. The fall fish is actually one of the largest minnows and the body is more silvery colored and the dorsal fin doesn't have the black dot and the base of the tail does not have the black dot but much of it, the rest of the body looks very similar to the creature. Two other major differences between the creek chub and the fall fish is that the fall fish doesn't have the dark bar running down the side of its body and as you can see the tail is more forked on the fall fish. Here's a clip of my father-in-law catching a fall fish when we went fishing last year. Oh! Oh wow that's cool that's a fall fish nice it's a good one. Fall fish. <laughs> like a chub. Okay, nice fall fish from father in law. Cool. More longer. Got a decent fall fish. Very nice. I hope this video was useful in helping you identify the creek chub versus the fall fish. I hope to catch you later. Thank you.